Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, we are going to show you how to build a Scout Trooper. Um, we're going to start with the armour parts, move on to the helmet later on, maybe mix it up in the middle somewhere, who knows, but we're going to go through the whole process. Now, usually I would show you how to build something, but this time we thought, why not show the expert who builds these things on the daily to share his wisdom. So this is the scout armour. Everything you see here on the bench is everything you'll get in the kit. I've got the shoulders. Chest. Back. The tank. Thermal depth parts. The depth tube as well. Biceps. Forearms. The knees. Belt. Drop boxes. And holster. You also get the greeblies. So you get these two bad boys for the biceps. Deck greeblies. The tank greeblies. That's all the parts for the kit. I'm gonna do your tutorial on it and we can we can go from there. So I'm probably gonna start with the, the chest first. And then we'll move on, obviously, round to the back, tank, and shoulders. And then from there, we'll, we'll make our way through the biceps and onwards. So Rob did a, a tutorial about uh, building a TK. So we're gonna put a link up here about which tools you need, and you'll be able to carry on from there, really. And you'll see me using some of the tools, at least. So, as I said, we're starting on the scout chest. So I'm gonna mark it up for you. And it, well, once it's trimmed, it'll look something like this. This is a roughly trimmed one, of course. It's rock and roll. We start, we start at about, let's say about three mil, three mil um, return edge. Can you see that there? You get, try, try and get quite a, a, fit, a strong pencil line on there. Like so. Okay. Then, this is where the strapping is going to be. So you can just about see a, a line where it needs to follow. Like so. Okay. And around the neck as well. It's the same all around. Where the, where the forming ends there, it's just a straight line across. You can see where it's formed, that there's a, there's a line that you can follow. I'm just gonna draw that in. There's that many lights in there, it's very hard for me to see it at, at the moment, but here it goes. He's wasted a full packet of paper today, Rob. Just because I'm showing you how to build something because his eyes aren't quite with it anymore. <laughs> and they're going to be black very soon. <laughs> right. <gasps> right, there's the edge on that side. Okay, right, very soon we're gonna send Rob home because um, he's getting on Clarky's wick as usual. There's a V at the bottom of the chest there. Don't forget that. Okay. So once we've marked the chest on, um, this section here, 
there's going to be a cut here where the elastic's going to be. Now, that's one and a quarter inch white elastic. Some people leave it completely white when they, when they want a really, really clean look, but a lot of people will stain, stain the elastic with tea. So just to give it an off-white colour. Um, same here, when, when you're ready to do the build, there'll be one and a quarter inch elastic going over the shoulders also. And obviously that'll be painted grey. As I do the build, you'll, you'll see all this. So that's one trimmed out, it just needs a good tidying up. I'd suggest trimming it out with a Dremel though, because um, the shears can be a bit difficult with this. When you cut the Stormtrooper armor, it's 1.5 mil. So if you, um, if you follow the link, you can get the right tools for the job. Now cutting, cutting 1.5 with shears is quite easy. Two mil, which is the uh, what we use for the scout armour, it's a little bit tough on your hands so I, I'd, I'd recommend the Dremel. For which if you look at the link, you'll be able to get an idea of, of, of how to Dremel and where to get a Dremel from. Right, I'm going to trim out the chest now. I've got my Dremel at the ready. Don't forget your iPro. Okay, so now I've got the iPro on. I'm going to talk you through a couple of the different types of heads we'll use. This is your regular Dremel disc cutting head. That's what you'll get with the Dremel. Now, I actually prefer using these. And it's, um, it's a mini diamond cutting disc. It, it flies through this 2 mil a lot quicker than the other one. You'll be able to find them on eBay. <laughs> So, in case you noticed, I haven't gone anywhere near the line that I've drawn, just in case I catch it. That'll be sanded off with a Dremel later, or, which is much easier for me, I can use a, a belt sander. If you've got one of them in your garage, brilliant. Plus with a the cutting desk it's very hard to get into the corners so we'll be doing that with the, um, the, the, the sander. So again the tool I'm going to use for this now to take it closer um, to where my, my actual cut line was I'm going to use the sanding bob. So I'm going to make my way all the way around the whole job really just being a bit more careful because the cutting desk can be can be a bit violent so if you don't want to go too close to the cut the cut line should I say um, so I'm going to start here first and take that back all the way around here right so I've finished this now I've finished Dremel in it so there's a lot of mess left over so what we do now is grab a sandpaper which is I'd use 120 grit. Some people go straight to 80 then lower, but I'll just use 120 just to get rid of this. Well, you can pick most of it off really, to be honest. <coughs> All trimmed out and sanded off. Next, we're going to make the cut. Right, so this, this V cut here, you can cut it with the shears or you can cut it with a Stanley knife. So you can just send the knife in. I'd, I'll, I've got used to using a knife. You can, it's just as easy to use the shears. Like so. Just take your time doing that. Then just smarten it up with the sandpaper. Like so. Right, so now that's all sanded down, it's ready for the slots or slits. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut the slots into there, to the sides of the chest. That's for the one and a quarter inch elastic to slot through. So obviously that's one and a quarter inch. Now the depth, it will need to have 
elastic through it with um, Velcro on, you'll be you'll be getting this. You'll be getting this from your local haberdashery. Um, so it'll be one and a quarter inch elastic with one inch Velcro on it. So we'll, as we go along, we'll talk you through that. Well, that will be slotting through there, so it just needs to be slightly thicker. Yeah, so we'll talk about that more when it comes to joining the armour up. So it's just as easy to use the elastic that you'll be getting from your haberdasherist to mark it on. And it's, it's kind of like right at the bottom of the return, the way it flats out there, it's just right there. So you just speed this bit up then, do you? <laughs> Okay, I'm just using the Stanley knife now to get all the little bits off from inside it. Now you can get little, little mini files to, to sand off the inside, or you can just fold a piece of sandpaper up and send it in. Beautiful. Now it's finished. Now, when you do put the armour on, the elastic will loop through that, but we'll get to that at a later stage. The Scout armour is not about trimming for size, really. It's one size fits all. That's the chest done. Next, we're going to work on the on the back and then the tank. Um, the elastics, we're going to talk about them as we go along really, so in a few tutorials time. That's the first part of the tutorial done for the RS Prop Masters Biker Scout build. Come back next time and I'm sure we'll do the back then and make our way through it and you'll have more of me whilst Bob's doing his sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> there you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If however you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff. All again, all on the website, just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.